Hello, welcome to the video of the Mercedes C250 Coupe. This is the 64 reg, uh, registered after September 2014. This is the 204 brake horsepower model. This is automatic C250, so higher brake horsepower. It's a 2.1 engine, which is the very economical still. Automatic as well, I believe this is a seven speed gearbox as well. So very uh, good on fuel. Right, okay, so as in the advert, brand new brake disc, uh, fitted Mintex as well. Mintex brake disc and pads. Uh, this has got the uh, 18 inch AMG alloys as well. And this lovely silver color, it's got the Xenon lights, got the headlight washer jets, it's got the LED daytime running lights, uh, LED side lights as well. Got the front and rear parking sensors parking sensors there because this one is the premium plus it's also got the uh, driver assistance package as well uh, in very side of condition for the mileage just turned 100,000 miles um, fresh MOT serviced by Mercedes specialist as well it's got the full service history so that's the uh, driver assistance package and it's also got the rain and light sensors it's also got the high beam assistance as well so high beam assistance as well on that all the alloy wheels are very good in the gloss black. It's got the gloss black wing mirrors as well. Gloss black wing mirrors. The paintwork is in good condition. There's nothing major that jumps out on you at all on this car. There's no dents or scratches that jump out at all on you. So it's a very tidy for a 100,000 mile car. Uh, brand new rear tyres which we fitted as well. Some brand new rear tyres which are the wider ones, these are staggered fitment so the front ones are a little bit narrower, the rear ones are a 255, uh, 35, 18 I believe the front ones are a 225, let's have a look Can I see? I can't see the tyre sizes there But yeah, I think they are a 225 on the fronts, 225, 40, um, 18s on the front, obviously narrower, that's how the Mercedes uh, majority of the Mercedes and the BMWs also run like that with the narrower tyres on the back. Uh, the uh, exhaust single outlet on this one. c 250 has got the boot spoiler as well because this is the AMG line as well. So AMG line means it's got the styling package, it's got the boot spoiler, it's got the little, little flicks there on the bumper and the side skirts as well. So absolutely nothing to report on the bodywork very clean inside the fuel cap 100% diesel no ad blue good to see the rubber string is still attached there that's not stapped so it's not been uh, aggressively taken off and on over the years the pan roof this is a full tilt and slide pan roof it's got this wind deflector at the front as well and that's another glass panel there as well on the front all the glass is clean, there's no, uh, no the windscreen is very good, there's no chips at all on the windscreen which is remarkable for the mileage. It may be, I've, I've, wait a minute, let's have a look, this side, no, look at that, original Mercedes uh, windscreen, so that's done very well, very well. Uh, the chassis number there inside the screen, if you want to freeze the video, that's the chassis number there. The bonnet's very clean. Okay, so that's the outside of the vehicle covered. Start on the uh, boot. So the boot, open that, it's just springs open. So there is a button inside the uh, driver's door which you press and that will spring open the boot as well. You can see it's got fold down rear seats. So those handles there, you pull those and the sides, left and right sides drop. So you have got the fold down rear seat so you can get those longer items in. Carpeted of course. Let's lift this up. Inside here we've got the battery there and then we've got the uh, slimline space saving spare wheel uh, and we've also got, which is a 16 inch by the way, and we've got the tool kit and the gloves as well. The white gloves, all that's nice and dry down there as well. There's no evidence of any uh, water etc. That plastic's nice and clean. Drop this down again. All appears nice and clean. 
so we just grab that there and pull down it's got the rear camera as well so the rear camera is there that's the reverse camera it's got the reverse parking sensors got that black uh, matte black lower diffuser as well which is very stylish led rear lights you can see the little uh, leds there very nice and uh, modern should we say let's go to the side first show you that door card make sure you're happy with this side so start here Ooh. all immaculate it's got a big massive reflector there all the uh, brushed aluminium is spotless there's no ring marks so no one's ring or key marks from getting in and out of that door it's got the suede alcantara panel there and the lever there with the white stitching all the door shuts are immaculate the speaker grills are immaculate as well so there's no cracked speaker grills there's no little bits of dirt stuck in there at all even got the courtesy puddle lights there which are still intact fitted carpet set with the clips there with the uh, grey binding stainless steel kick plate Mercedes Benz is standard all the door shuts are immaculate as well there's no trap seat belt marks on this side uh, the seats very clean half Alcantara and half uh, this is the M-Tex which is the fake lever of course not the real lever and that's the Alcantara in the centre uh, it's also got the electric seat as well so it's a semi electric seat so the up and down and the bike rest move with the front bottom slides on that slide there okay let's pull this handle here it's that handle there pull that bike and that lets the occupants in at the rear which is in clean condition rear seats half so same again it's also got the uh, child isofix anchoring points behind that it's a velcro pad you pull that down you can see the metal anchoring points there and you've got a drinks holder there in the middle uh two seat belts unfortunately so it is a two plus two so it's a four seater this one it's not a five seater all the coupes are the same same on the bmw four series coupes and the three series coupes as well uh, pan roof obviously this is the uh, extra which which majority of them don't have that's the expensive option pan roof it's a tilt and slide as well and it's also got an electric sun blind so it's got everything i'll show that in operation in a minute when i get to the driver's seat that's all nice and clean once again very clean no scratches on the brush aluminium panel this has got electric folding wing mirrors as well so if we press that button that should fold and that one folds as well you can see so if i press the button again you'll see that side fold out there we go so the electric folding wing mirrors those tight parking spaces uh, and then you've got the boot release which is there boot release button there central locking button there once again the speaker grills immaculate no damage and the puddle lights are there and also the door shuts immaculate there the pedals are all immaculate the carpet's clean this area here is nice and clean as well uh, so is the kick plate there electric driver's seat of course same as the other side let's look at the condition so very good very good I mean, for the mileage that bolster is immaculate that bolster looks like it's done 30 40 000 miles so very good very good indeed okay so let's pull the seat forward so we can see behind all nice and clean doesn't smell of uh, smoke doesn't smell of dogs either so no dog smells or smoke smells in this vehicle take a look at that before i sit in this right okay so inside straight away premium plus it's got all the extras so we've got the sat nav there you've also got the reverse camera which you can see there so it's got the reverse camera as well and then if you look you've got the dab radio which is tuned into my favorite absolute 80s uh disc as well so disc and you've also got if i press this uh video so you can see it's a dvd player that so the uh, the disc can read the disc the CD player can read the DVD video, so you can put DVDs on if you want to. Obviously, that will only play when the vehicle is stationary with the handbrake on and in park. Okay. Uh, obviously, we've got telephone, Bluetooth as well. Uh, you can play your music through that as well, which is in the centre armrest here. So if we pop that open. You can see the leads here. You've got the input leads there, all there, and you've got the tap down there, so you can play your music through there. Uh, what else have we got up here? 
let's have a look. Uh, no, that's about it for that. So you've got the DVD, radio, CD player, um, sat nav, of course. Um, and then down here, you've got the controls. You can either use the controls or use that toggle there to access those. You answer your phone. You've got the heated front seats as well. Three stage heated front seats for passenger and driver seat there. You've got your parking sensors off if you're parking somewhere very tight and it's beeping like mad. Uh, eco button as well there to get the stick, um, the stop start to kick on and off. And then you've got the air conditioning, which is a dual zone climate control there. Dual zone, left and right temperature settings. In here you've got a 12 volt plug and a coin tray. That's all working. You've got this lever gator and the gear lever. And you've also got the sports mode and eco mode button there as well. Uh, and then under here, cruise control cruise control all your toggles there for the computer for this function on the left and then the right one is for your um, telephone and volume paddle shifters there negative up down and up and then you've got the uh, obviously the clocks there 100,070 miles exactly um, no warning lights on anything like that Right, I'll do this because I've been doing this a lot on these. So switch the engine off, put the key back in, and then turn the uh, lights, so all the lights come on. Engine starts, all the lights go off. So that's, uh, and it's also got the automatic lights as well. Auto lights. What hasn't this vehicle got? Right, okay, so that's that done. And then the, up here, you've got your pan roof, so you've got all these little buttons up here to play with as well. So. I'm going to pull that bike, uh, keep my finger on that, oh it's a one touch, so I don't have to put my finger on that, when it comes back, then it shuts that, then you use the same button again, and then the blind comes back, like so, so you've got the tilt and slide sunroof, with the sun blind, so that's a sun blind, so if you push that bike, so you can have this whatever you want, you can stop it, it stops halfway actually, oh there you go, you can stop it halfway if you want, or have the full because there's another glass panel at the back then you can just push this up once and it's got the tilt sunroof and then obviously you can pull the toggle back but it's got the slide sunroof as well and that's working in perfect condition okay uh, what else under the bonnet so I'm going to switch the engine off and pop the bonnet which is down here underneath let's pop the bonnet look under the bonnet Make sure you're happy. So this has just had a service. It's had the major gearbox service as well. So the gearbox oil has been changed. Um, so it's good to know because that is due. Uh, every, I think it's seven years or 70,000 miles it has been done. But we do it anyway as a precaution. So we know it's been done and we have no implications or complications with the warranty company. If anything does happen, uh, you know, we've serviced it correctly. Made sure the gearbox has been serviced before it goes out. It's all nice and clean, it's HPI clear this vehicle as well, so HPI clear, uh, so uh, not being involved in an insurance claim or accident, that's actually the battery under there, that's the, that's the big battery, and in the boot it's a small battery, it's called the convenience battery in the boot, so there's two batteries on these cars because of all the extras, it's got a lot of little extras so it does need two batteries. Okay, all this is nice and standard and clean, no one's been messing around with changing the air boxes or anything like that. That's your antifreeze there in that bottle, and they've got your brake fluid there, fuse box under there. And it's all immaculate, the underside of the bonnet as well, all immaculate. Close that, and that is about it. So, this has got full service history as well. We've got many invoices. Um, this car came in as a trade in against a newer car. The chap. Uh, I think it was around 50 years old, the chap who, uh, who traded it in. He's had this a few years, and it was actually a friend's friend. So it's a friend's friend who traded this one in. Uh, he needed a newer car because he was doing a lot more mileage. So he bought a Mercedes A-Class. So that's how we got hold of it. Obviously, we noticed the, the brake disc needed changing. So we changed the brake disc for brand new Mintex items on there and had the gearbox serviced, and it's been serviced as well. Okay, finance. We can do finance on this vehicle, so please get in touch. Part exchange, we do upset part exchanges, so please get in touch with your reg number and your mileage as well. 
and then we can give you a quotation based on the live auto trader um, price guide system okay if any further questions please let us know and uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope to see you soon thank you